low heel recovery. This is when we keep the foot closer to the ground during the swing phase of sprinting. It's generally recommended for the first few steps of acceleration. So it's an action like this, rather than high heel recovery like this. Why is low heel recovery good? People typically say something like, it's the shortest path from point A to point B, so we can spend less time in the air and get to the next step quicker. I would say that, yeah, we don't wanna spend too long in the air, but there is a certain amount of time that we do need to spend. Uh, most people typically at least 0.05 seconds, all right? And we need that time because we have to generate backwards action on the foot in the air before it hits the ground. Now I've seen people spend an appropriate amount of time in the air and get a quality contact with and without low heel recovery. And if you're trying to spend less time in the air, that can certainly be taken too far, all right? And that's where you get people who push off the ground and then they just put their foot down right away and they don't get that backwards action. So they create a lot of braking force. With all that being said, if low heel recovery is a good thing for an athlete to do, I don't believe it's because it helps them spend less time in the air.